Hey loves, today I'll be showing you how to add this lace apart detail to the back of a jacket. First and foremost, let's go over the materials. You'll need a thick enough jacket, I used a corduroy one that I thrifted. Matching thread in a sewing machine to keep the edges from fraying. At least 60 eyelets, an eyelet tool, which I'll show you how to use. A hammer to apply your eyelets. Six yards of ribbon, about a quarter to three eighths wide. Scissors, measuring tape, a sharpier pin, and a piece of cardstock. So firstly, you'll place the cardstock on top of the jacket and you'll fold it in half vertically or hot dog style. This way you can get an accurate heart shape. So you're gonna take your Sharpie or pin and you're gonna make half of a heart shape just like a Valentine's Day card. Next, you'll make your final adjustments to figure out the exact heart shape that you want. Then you fold the cardstock back in half and cut out the heart shape. I flipped my jacket over and I took the heart cut out and pinned it to the inside, making sure that it was centered. Once you finish pinning, you're gonna draw a heart outline about half an inch bigger than the cardstock heart. Then you'll poke a hole inside of the line and cut out the outline heart shape. Then you'll cut out the cardstock heart and remove all of the excess. And when your pieces are laid out, this is what it should look like. Next, you're gonna stitch along the edge to prevent fraying. When doing this, stitch it about a quarter inch away from the edge. And once you're done with the heart cut out, you're gonna do the same thing to the jacket. Next, you'll figure out how many eyelets you'll need for your heart shape. I ended up using 30 eyelets for the heart cutout. Next, you're gonna mark the eyelet placement on the heart shape. I started by doing half of the heart. I actually don't have the footage of applying this first half of eyelets because I cut myself and had to wear a band-aid. So be careful with this process. So you're gonna fold the heart in half and use a pin to mark the eyelet placement. This way the sides will match each other. So after making your marks, you're gonna cut small holes for the eyelets. Make sure you don't cut your holes too big or the eyelets may slip through. One last material that I didn't mention in the beginning, I ended up using E6000 glue. It helped whenever I accidentally cut an eyelet hole too big and it kept the eyelets in place before I got ready to hammer them in. So now you're going to hammer your eyelets, you'll take the small tool and put it underneath the right side of the eyelet and then you'll take the taller piece of the tool and stick it on top of the back of the eyelet, the part that sticks up, and then you'll just hammer that in place. You'll start to see the back of the eyelet fold over the fabric. Then you'll continue this for both the heart cutout and the back of the jacket. Once you're done applying your eyelids, you'll just need to figure out how much ribbon you'll need for your lace-up. I ended up using six yards total, so three yards per side. I started lacing from the bottom point of the heart. I left out about five inches of ribbon just in case I wanted to tie a bow and began lacing the ribbons like a pair of Converse. So I accidentally used two extra eyelets for the jacket and I had to manipulate the way that I laced the ribbon to hide this. What I mean by that is I used 32 eyelets for the jacket itself and I used 30 eyelets for the heart so they didn't match up evenly. So you'll continue lacing all the way around the heart, all the way back to the bottom point. For option one, you can tie a bow outside of the jacket as shown. Or you can do option two and tie the bows inside of the jacket, which is what I ended up doing. I like both of these methods, but for now I choose to hide my ribbons. And if I ever wanted to change it, I could just lace it differently. And that's it, now you're all done with your lace up heart. 
Thank you guys so much for watching and please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this.